All right, let's go then. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another week here at the RGM Experience Podcast with me, Carl Maloney. Uh, this podcast, ladies and gentlemen, is where we delve into the grassroots music industry and beyond uh, and find interesting people within it to speak to. And today is no different, ladies and gentlemen. We've got James and Joel from Matilda Shakes. Hey up, lads. How are we doing? All right. Now then, how are we doing? All right, you. I would, we do, yeah. Sound it's it's always a bit weird because because I, I you know I've, I've known Joel longer and I've met you James a few times and we've had you on in Sheffield at we had you on at tram just like the pre tram lines gig last year and that kind of stuff. That's it. It's it's always a bit more informal uh, uh, space uh, when these things happen. But uh, let's just crack on because I'm because re- I'm, I'm really proud of you. I think you're doing really good things with Matilda Shakes at the minute, and I know you're grafting, and that's kind of why we're here to talk about it. You know. So how how do you both feel about how it's going at the minute? Well, we're both buzzing, aren't we? A minute, like well, all bands, like ecstatic where our things are going. Yeah. Like we set out a goal, didn't we, for for this year, and we've smashed it by January. So we're a bit like, oh. is it? You know, like look, 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 red wine on the go. Here we, we go. It's part. It's so. Saturday night. Yeah, it's, but the, like he, like James has said, like the goals were set. Um, what we wanted to achieve, quite sure, and we've, we've smashed everything we wanted to do in a year. What was the goal then? So we, we wanted wanted to sell Led Miller. Right? <laughs> we wanted to book a headline tour. Yeah, and we wanted to go on at tramlines. Right. And that was like a sort of three steps that we wanted to achieve this year, and it all come together in January. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, it's laughs> like, what do we do now for the rest of the year? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do for the next year, rest of the year? That's it. No. <laughs> That's, <all laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. Like I don't know. I, like personally, uh, what's around the corner is quite. I don't know. It's getting me excited because, like, we've achieved what we set out to do in the year in space of January. I'm quite excited to see what happens in the next six months. Like I, I can't wait. I'm the unknown, the unknown's quite exciting as well, isn't it? You know, if everything's all planned out, I know like, planned stuff can be exciting, but you know, if you don't know what's around the corner. It? Yeah, it's good. Well, let, let, let's go back a little bit then. So, um, so the band's doing really well. You've got this headline slot. Main stage, is it? Main stage, Leadmill, yeah. Uh, sorry, tra- main stage, tra- uh, tram lines uh, as well. Tram lines, we're on to the, to the stage. On to the right. stage, right. Okay, yeah. nice, nice. Well, we're buzzing with that. There's like Charlatans, Miles Kane are on that stage as well, same day. So they're like some of our idols. So, <laughs> you know, we'll be banging on the door at Hillsborough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it, it's it, it's such like because you know since we've just been having chats and that kind of stuff over the years, and I've known Joel, you, and I've know, I've known you from being in bands like previous bands and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, long time. I've known you a long time, dude. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, like when you were in the Peaky Blinders bands, the Ruby Blues were the first time <laughs> we used to wear hats and stuff. That that was fun. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> no, no, I, I mean, get it, though, dude. Peaky get stuff, it. didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. How how do you feel it's gone like? Because uh, you know it, it's been a long time, and and you've been known as one of the best drummers in Sheffield, really. So uh, <laughs> don't get him started. Don't get him started. <laughs> no, I, I, he, he is though. I, I can remember when you hurt your arm once, and you still played a gig, and you still did it yeah. with one arm when you broke your arm or whatever. Not just one gig; it was eight gigs. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot <Fair> broke arm. <laughs> no, but fair enough, dude. Yeah, like it's amazing. Do you know, like we we played like literally last year we played. Yeah. The frog and pirate for your your gig at like drum lines and yeah. we've we've sort of like come in we set as benchmark and said right this this, this like the next year which is this year like we want to go and do tram lines and all this you know what i mean yeah. we've gone from like playing the stage at frog and pirate and then and then skipped all like introducing stages to like the tubber stage it's, it's, yeah. it's insane i'm buzzing yeah. i'm absolutely buzzing have, have you had much support from bbc introduce introducing in general though no yeah, not really we've We've had a lot of support from BBC Radio Sheffield, but mm. I don't know. It's, we always seem to have missed out on introducing, which is a bit surprising. But you know, it's it's one of them things where we just keep we keep plugging away ourselves and just working hard. And you know, it's just it's just a graft all the time, just sending your music out to everybody. You know, just trying to get people to hear, hear your music and stuff. And you know, it's it's paying off because we, we're selling vent every like gig we're on in like his hometown sold out like. Very yeah. quick, so you know. So it's the next stage to sell out out of Sheffield and get out of there a bit. Yeah, definitely. See the country. That, that, that's why we booked all. You know, yeah. it, it's, it's a case of 
you know, spreading your wings a little bit now and letting other like cities know what we're all about. Because you know, a lot of people now in Sheffield know who we are. So yeah. it's just like I said, getting to that next level now where everybody at UK knows who you are, and yeah. uh, that, that's what we're wanting to do. You know, that's we, the hardest bit, though, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's, it, it is, but you know, when you got when you got five lads who are on the same bloody page, not not. You, you can be in a band of four, like sometimes two or three are, are proper bothered. And yeah. if one of you, like, like, like if one of you is not bothered, it, it, it really does affect that like, momentum. And yeah, it really does. And I think we're all on the same page. Like, we've just drafted White in new kid. He's like on Simpson backing guitars. He's serious, like, he's genuinely serious. So, um, he's changed. like we, we, we were doing well anyway, and then he's just kind of <laughs> skyrocketed at it. So, there, there, there has been a few changes in personnel just to, like recently aren't there for the band so yeah. so talk us through what happened there you know why the changes and uh where we are now with it well basically first change came about we uh as old drummer josh so we were, we were headlining sydney and matilda um we'd just come off back of doing we did o2 main stage we uh antarctic monkeys which were pretty good and from there we were like, right, we need to start putting his own shows on now. Yeah. So we booked Sydney and Matilda. All rehearsals are going well and stuff. About two weeks before gig, Josh, he broke his hand. Couldn't play. And uh, we had to draft in another drummer. So we got this uh, this young lad in called Charlie. Proper smashed gig-like. And uh, after that, Josh was like, I just don't know how long I'm going to be out for. You know, I don't want to hold you back kind of thing. You know, if you, if you need to get someone else in, get someone else in. And obviously, I, I'd known Joel for quite a while then. We'd been talking. You were in Sunset at the time, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So we were doing and, all right. Uh, after, the, after he'd left there, you know, I said, would you fancy coming in and drum for us? He was like, yeah, definitely. I like to flirt, Carl. <laughs> I know you did, mate. I know you did. <laughs> well, one thing that, you know, you, you've been there, seen it, done it, mate. And, you, you know, you've you've you've... You've been around bands that have been serious for a bit, and then for whatever reason, it just doesn't happen for that band. Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah, it was Sunset Collective, wasn't it? What we called? You, yeah, what? Sunset. Uh, yeah, yeah, we knew well. We played Why Not yeah. Festival, and yeah, uh, the great lads all are, all. I love it all. Every single band I've ever been in, I'm so proud of. Yeah. It's like I wouldn't like if if it if it didn't mean anything to me, I'd just back off and I'd be like, no, no. But I'm telling you now, this is serious, and I'm having the best time of my life. What, what happened with the previous band then? How come it stopped after like, you know, why not and stuff? Because I, I was quite su surprised by that. We were just kind of like, I don't know, you know, it's hard to explain, but I, I just got a phone call. I were, I were away at Scarborough or whatever, just having a good time. And they were like, I think it's time we call it. Like, I think when you're in a decent band that's doing well and not many people take notice, they, they, they feel that it's, it's done. Do you know what I mean? But you need to, to, you need to, you need to keep driving, don't you, and, and pushing on everybody, and just making sure that everybody knows you exist. And and I think yeah. it, it it can sometimes get boring, Carl. Do you know what I mean? Like like trying to like selling tickets. To people have already bought tickets, and we've got good fans. Like this band's got good fans. Like they 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 want to see us again, but it's hard work. It is hard work, and people don't see. I think, don't I think when it gets, I think when it gets hard enough, some certain people get bored. Well, people do, people just like the idea of being in a band and they don't realise how hard work it is, I think, as well. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like for us now, you know, you, you, you talk to, like, fans of ours and they'll, they'll say, oh, you know, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, well, I'm just finishing work. And they're like, what, you still work? And it's like, well, yeah, I still have to work. <laughs> you know, band don't really pay that much. Like, last year, we put we put a lot more money into that into band than what we got back out of it. Mm. And I think that for a lot of people can be enough to say, like, this is enough. I, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. But like I said, we, we've got five lads that are like, now nah, we want this. Like, this one, we want this to be our career. You know, we want to go back into work and say, there's been Otis. You know, I'm going to be a fucking rock star. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So that, that's like dream for us all. Yeah, you know, yeah. we, keep, we keep pushing and pushing and pushing towards it. And that like I said, for, for some bands, it's just, it just gets too much, doesn't it? It, the holy grail of being able to make a career out of music is a really, really long path. I've spoken, I, I was speaking to the Lilacs earlier today, 
and they're out yeah. in the world playing the big stages and stuff, and they're all still working. That's it. Yeah. I think I think yeah. you're quite surprised. Like even like even big bands playing bigger stages, fest big decent festival slots all quite often. They'll still be working because you know it's it, it's a big commitment to to leave your job and go for it. You've kind of got to at some point when it, that you've got to work out when that point's good for you guys individually. But I I, I just I, it's a, it's a, it's the longest journey I've seen within a career where you know where you can you just got to graft and you, you can't do any more than just find new pockets of fans all over the country and just do it all whatever happens. And see how it yeah. goes because everybody's I, got somewhere, aren't they? I'm babbling a bit, but yeah, I feel like we're at that stage now that we're like we're happy to gamble, man. I, I, I'm I'm the happiest I've ever been in a band. I'm like I'm ready to gamble. Me, I'm like I'm I'm working. I've got kids. I've got a missus. I've got an house. But you know, like right now where I'm at, <laughs> I would tour anywhere. Like I'm 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 proud of what I've done. I'm proud of this band. I'm proud of everything. I promise you, I'm the proudest I've ever been. Yeah, no, no, that, that that to me shows a lot for this band. Well, you know, like, you're still here, aren't you, mate? Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Gonna eat, broke up. <laughs> I said you're still here. You're still here. You're having fun. You're loving it after all these years. Exactly. That's, that. that's what. That's what it's all about. Like when fun's not there, it's not worth doing, is it? You know, like I said, we all get on as as lads. You know, we don't just spend time together in a band. You know, we we'll go yeah. for a beer together and. Spend time together, and I think that that that's that's the good thing, you know. It's not so much we're not a band; we're like brothers, if that makes sense. You know, we're, we're there for each other. You know, when people are down, you know, we all have his moments, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we feel yeah. a bit low and stuff. I well, hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's delve into the dynamics a little bit. So, um, what's the strengths and the weaknesses of all for all the members then so james do you want to go around the, the whole band name them to, and tell us yeah, their strengths and weak and weakness uh, 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 you can't uh, wait just before we do this he hates paying compliments to anybody <laughs> he is a dick well let's <laughs> let, let's see <laughs> nah, for, i think for, for joel he's definitely he's, he's one of them guys that can just he can talk to anybody yeah. You know, and he, he's bushing, bushing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't blush. <laughs> he, he is he's such a strong drummer. Like you can you can yeah. like throw anything at him. You know, just come up with a beat for it, and you're like that. That's brilliant. Like I've I've worked with a few drummers, and and they've been good drummers, but I've never worked with a drummer quite like Joel, where he's he's just got mad ideas. Like you take him into a studio and stuff like that. It's brilliant. It really is. And what um, what could Joe, little Jolie do better then? Stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I've got bloody ADHD. I can't help it. <laughs> well, that's all right. That's all right. And and the other ones then? Let's go around the lads. The the, the other lads that aren't here. Spen, he, he's the bass player. Um, yeah. He's got mad stage presence. He's, he's absolutely brilliant to watch on stage. One of the best musicians you'll ever meet. Yeah, and yeah. like. We, 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 as a band, we can all play different instruments as well, so we're quite fortunate with that, aren't we? Like Spen, Spen's naturally a lead guitarist, so when he's coming he up, plays with, bass. when he comes up with his bass riffs, a lot of it's like all oh, lead bass riffs. So it's very much like like Kasabian esque in a way. Mm. So he, like, he plays it bass going, he plays his bass guitar like his guitar, yeah. which is hard to find someone who can. Like make a bass guitar sound like a lead guitar, and he's he's incredible. He really is. Yeah, he's, he's brilliant. Like it made such a big difference to like the tracks that we'd already wrote as a band. Like he come in and put his own spiel on bass. The 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 the, the day we actually when he joined the band, he could, the first day he joined the band, he was in the studio. <laughs> yeah, and we were like, can you do some bits of this? Like he went, he, he went insane, went to yeah. the fair. Adrenaline come from like Spenders doing his own thing. That's but, it. But he actually joined. He joined the day we uh, we played Leadmill last year. So we sort of were a bit moping about because we? we when he physically, when he, yeah, yeah, when he actually joined. As, as previous bass player, we left two days before we headlined Leadmill. So we were all a bit like, ah, shit. Like, we've got this big show planned, don't we? And then Jack, lead guitarist, had to drop to bass. And then, it, I don't know, it was a bit of a weird feeling, weren't it? 
we felt like we we're kind of rescuing sure sort of thing. And um, you've known, you, well, you've been in bands with Spencer. Right? You know Spencer, you said. Right? Yeah, yeah, he were in the Ruby Blues too, weren't he? You know, I think you were going through a bit of a tough time, weren't you? You know, he'd, he'd lost a family member. He needed like it, that. he needed it. And, he, and he, rang me up. he rang me up. I'll tell you what, this is, sounds mad, but he, he were having a bad time. He lost a very, very close young family member. And um, I rang you up and I said, I'm going to ask you to, and, and he said to me when, this is exactly what I needed. Like, like he's a lead guitar player and he's on bass and he's incredible. Mm. He's he's awesome. Like most bands, would be happy with him as a lead guitarist, and we've got him on bass. Yeah. So we, <laughs> we are really fortunate. Yeah. And then you've got you've got Jack in band. You know, he's so creative as well. Punk rock as hell. And like, class. if you've got any like issues with any of your equipment, he's, he's so quick to fix it for you. Like, he'll set your guitar. He's like, the guy. Yeah, he's yeah, the guy. So we're fortunate we out like that, and then. Um, so we brought Whitey in as well. Um, he's in a couple of bands as well, but like, he's, he's a producer, so he can like we can go into his re- rehearsal room and actually record a full track with him. Um, like I say, he's, he's, he's just unreal, isn't he? Yeah, like, the, lose the band. Yeah. So. And what and about just, their, what about their weaknesses then? I'm gonna I'm gonna push you for it a little bit. They've all got air fever. <laughs> <laughs> Have they? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I don't want you. Oh, what do you mean, what are the weaknesses? Well, you know, everybody brings something to the band. Everybody's got personalities. Everybody's got something they can learn. Uh, I, I did the good points. I'll let Joel do that. Yeah, about him. Yeah, go on, then. He's got some line. No, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. God's name is true. Because you didn't ask Paul. Stop being so rude. You didn't ask about James. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, totally, yeah. Go on, then, mate. Yeah, let's, let's not leave anybody out. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> He's got Bebo as well, if you want to follow him. <laughs> no, but seriously. <laughs> he, um, he's got a great, like genuinely, genuinely, the, the, the vocal range you can hear, he's like a frick. It's hard to say this, but you know, like when you're just very good at singing. There we go. I don't want to blow your trumpet because you sound into me and I feel really stupid, but he's great. <laughs> he really is. What's his weaknesses then? I'm Marty. <laughs> he is the Mardiest person you will ever meet. I'm a, I'm a frontman, though. I'm a, I'm a proper diva. Oh, well, that's fine, then, because you're a frontman. No, grow up. He is the Mardiest person you'll ever meet. <laughs> I really can admit that, though. I can admit that. What makes you Mardy, James? Oh, going wrong. Yeah. A spit dummy out of the time. It. What, speed like... bumps. Speed bumps make him Mardy. Yeah, speed oh, bumps, oh, right. oh, oh, yeah. oh, like we could be rehearsing, can't we? Oh, it goes wrong. It's set. I'm like, oh. right, stop. Yeah, you're like, stop. No, you don't stop. He flicks the mics off. I, I swear, it's hard work being in a band with this guy. You know, <laughs> Here we go. Not, if, if, one, if anybody flips a note, yeah. this is no joke, Carl. Okay. <clears throat> Microphone's gone. Guitar's down. Gone. Guitar's outside. You don't even smoke. He's probably need to. <laughs> yeah, a bit, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, like, I, I think for me, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Right. Probably too much. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, th- I think that that's probably what I need to do. Just you know, chill it out a little bit. You're hard with it. <laughs> well, so you, I've got ADHD, so you know what I mean. That's my weakness. Or or superpower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, superpowers. Yeah, exactly. He, he, we live in a world where now his class is a good thing. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So growing up in Sheffield, created this band, achieved all you want to achieve by January. Um, and one of, one of the moments that you said is selling out the Leadville. So talk me through. Uh, and it's the big room in Leadville as well, and it's not the little one. Yeah, of course it fucking is. Oh, I, I mean, when, when, we, when we booked it, we were a bit like, are we a bit mad doing this? Are we, are we going to manage to sell this out? Because for, for us, we never like to book a gig without knowing we're going to sell it out. Mm. And there were talks at O2 Small Room, weren't there? Yes. And we were confident on that. And then we were talking to Bennett, um, lead mill, and he come back and we're like, let's do main room of lead mill, and we're like, right, okay, <laughs> like you were proper nervous. I said right, it was suicide. I said like, this is a really bad idea. I'm like, well, I, no, I'm being serious. I really do. I said, no, it's not gonna happen. We've just got to go for it. So we went for it and just started plugging away with PR and stuff like that. Just like sent everybody a message about playing this. Do you want a ticket? Blah blah blah. And then we ended up selling out three months before. Yeah. <laughs> <didn't you>? like, <laughs> We've done it again. So, so like the, the main room at Leadwell's like 950 or something. Yeah. Wow. Look, does this look like a big deal? <laughs> 900 done. 
Uh, but so so what happens like you know so i've played level a few times and it's just amazing just even being up that little staircase at the side and just having a laugh before you come down to the main stage bit yeah it's, it's, it's such a magical place particularly for us sheffielders isn't it yeah yes it, it's, it's our home to yeah. it's like playing at hillsborough there's, no. there's no other venue you'd rather do in sheffield hillsborough no yeah. not hillsborough piggy <laughs> I know that's a, it's a shame. It's a shame. When's it done it? today, aren't they? They want today till now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, so yeah, coming from Sheffield, playing the lead mill, selling it out. Congratulations. Nice work. Uh, how, how do you because uh, how how many uh, what kind of conversations did you have with people to try and sell out the lead mill? Because I uh, I know for a fact that's that that's no mean feat finding nine hundred and fifty people to buy a ticket for your band. How did you do it? You don't have to have your third COVID jab if you buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I thought we were on about seven. <laughs> I think there were three. <laughs> I don't know. No, we're just... We're, we're all quite popular from where we're from, aren't we? Yeah. So I, I think that's a big advantage we've got. We've got five likeable lads, do you know what I mean? And we're just... We said we were just sending messages to everybody, like, "Come on, please buy a ticket." Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, he said that. He got to the point where we we were asking people, and then he got to the point where people were asking me, "Can yeah. we get tickets?" And I was like, "That's it. Since it's sold That's out, true. you have that many people. Then message you going, can you get us in? Is there any way you can get us in? Have you got any more tickets?'" And yeah, it's, it's like it's mad, isn't it? Mm. But yeah. what's like coming from Sheffield now, I could try, I'm not as close as what I used to be to all the new bands and stuff. I did have a good chat with a band called Cruise the other day in Manchester. Yeah, Sheffield. yeah, good band. They, they, they seem to be doing all right. Uh, they supported us last year at uh, Leadmill. Right. So we had Cruise and Sam Shadell. Nice. Last year. Hmm. So yeah, it was a good lineup. What's the What's the Sheffield music scene like now as being part of it? It's buzzing, isn't it? Yeah. There is a, there's a lot of good up and coming bands in Sheffield at the minute. I, I, personally, I'm a big fan of the Beavers. They're, they're doing, they're yeah. doing well. Yeah. I like Beavers. I think they're in our 60% yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So they're smashing it. Doing it. Yeah. Um, got, well, we've got um, Marple's on with, aren't we? And Heavy Souls. Mm. So they're, they're two Sheffield bands that are doing really well at the Every moment. Souls. Heavy Souls have just signed a deal with like a blues label. Yeah. So. And then oh, you've no. got obviously Cruise, Cruise that you mentioned. I know they're doing a lot of work with this feeling, aren't they? Mm. Um, but yeah, like there's loads. Rosa Docks, they're killing it a, a minute yeah. ago. We spotted Rosa them Dock. down at City Hall. So, Before uh, breakfast decided to call it a day, I thought that was a shame. Oh, which one was that, sorry? And Before Breakfast. They, they decided oh, yeah. to call it a day uh, on the yeah. day. So. I think they just got tired of just from reading the socials, you know, it was just like they fell out of love with it a little bit, the grind of it all. Uh, it, can happen, it can happen to the best of them, can't it? They 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 played the main stage, they played the main stage of tram lines two years ago. I went to see him. Yeah. And that's it, yeah. Call it a day. It seems a shame. A, a, year, right, a year seems like a long time, but you know, for something some band or even anything, anything that you love or whatever you like, a year doesn't seem like a long time, but you can achieve so much in a year. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Or not. That's, 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 that's what I'm telling you. We, we were like, <laughs> last year, like, <laughs> we were fuck last year, kind of dreaming about it. We really were. I mean, last year, we were saying Brothers Arms on Ely. Yeah. Do you know it? I do. Because you know, you're in Manchester now and all that. <laughs> <laughs> we were sat there, we went, oh, God, I don't know where we're going to be able to afford anything this time. Like, like, dude, like, we've been on this this year. The, like, I'm... You know, I'm like I'm like ADHD. I'm like, I could just run forever, but the announcements that we've achieved, and like, an, I can't even speak. Like, I'm, I'm that, I'm that happy. It's still yeah. a lot come as well, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. we've got stuff. Like we've got stuff. Oh, that, okay. I'm like, I want to. I just want to. You know, you've got headphones. I just want to go. I don't think anyone can hear. <laughs> Come on, right? just just whisper me one thing, Joel. You don't have to listen, James. Whisper me one little thing, Joel. It's against your trouble with him. <laughs> you don't I'm, do. I'm pretty, do it. Much, pretty much booked up till November, which nice. is mad. Nice. So, well, I've, yeah. I've I've seen that you play Manchester uh, Lions Den. Love the Lions Den. Den. I want to come and see. Is it first of June? I'm just going from my memory. First of June, yeah. yeah. First of yeah, June, so you've got that going on. And where else are you playing then? So, if anybody watching this, talk. Oh, where you can buy tickets from now? Yeah. We're just we're dipping us toes first time round, 
So we're yeah. doing, doing Edinburgh, Newcastle, Manchester, Barnsley, and then finishing off in Manchester. We're playing Scunthorpe as well, aren't we? Yeah, Scunthorpe. So we've got Scunthorpe on eighth, yeah. supporting uh, all the youth movement, which are very good up and coming bands. Smashing it. And got loads how, of energy as well. And how do you plan to uh, market to these places where you're, where you're playing? How, how, how What's the plan to. So, so where we've got that this time around, we've. we've We've kind of gone through like local promoters from, you know, like Edinburgh, Newcastle, all mm. them sort of places to like help them prom- them help us promote it. But not only that, but we want to work with local people as well, rather than just going through, you know, like a booking agent that's just going to book you a full, yeah. full tour somewhere. We want people like behind us that genuinely do care. Like, because we care so much about band and you know, providing a show for everybody. Yeah. You know, it's nice for like a promoter to be involved that really cares about you as well. So that's sort of route we wanted to go down. Promoters that care. It's mm-hmm. got- yeah, <laughs> that's what you hear very often, is it? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I, well, I would- Carl, let me ask you, what are you what? what are you listening to? What am I listening to at the minute? Yeah. What do you like? Let me have, let me just get me thing. So it always puts you on the spot. That's so I've got the I've I've got the new Shambolics album on. Nice. Good, good band. I've I've been lucky enough to get the new Red Rum Club before it comes out because we're reviewing it for RGM. So wow. I can't wait for that to come out. Um, good. I've got the new Cast album that's on there. Dirty Laces. They they brought an album. What's out. The, um, I'm listening what's to the, them. the Last Dinner Party. Have you heard, have you listened to that album? The, the Last Dinner no. Party. Is that the name of the band or the song? Or yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. Oh. This, this series. No, no, no. What, what is it? They're amazing. Yeah. Check them. Mm. I would recommend checking them out. They got number one album, didn't they? Yeah, they got number one album. Oh, nice, nice. And you've got a new single coming out as well because you sent it to me the other day. Yeah. Through, yeah. Which any band can do through the website as well, by the way. You know, feel free to just submit and, you know, you don't have to, um, you know, <laughs> send us your music. That's what it's all about, isn't it? So what, what's yeah. this new single about then? Tell us about that, James. So neon is it's all about like visions and stuff like that and um yeah that releases 29 for 29 for uh february doesn't it yeah so we just thought we'd put some out just before that lead mill the chance for people to hear it so a lot a lot of his stuff we've stripped down off like spotify i don't know if you've noticed we just it didn't really represent us as a band anymore oh. yeah i know 100 yeah, yeah we need because we've got new members in and you know yeah a, a lot of new members musically are stronger than previous members. So oh they're like, when we, when, we, when we play it live now, people like don't even sound like you're recording. You sound a lot better live. Yeah. So we're like, right, let's strip them down, redo them, and then put them back up. Because like, for me, you know, when, a, when someone's looking at booking you or whatever, mm-hmm. they're going to look on Spotify and think, what do these sound like? And like for me, it just weren't quite up to standard for us anymore. So we just we want to put out the best stuff that we can now. That's what it's all about for us. It makes it makes sense to go in and tidy things up every now and again because you yeah, know when, when you've been doing it a few years, things do change, don't they? And you want you want to put your best face forward, I suppose. And yeah, definitely. Tidying yeah. up stuff that you're not proud of anymore, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I don't want to put words in your mouth. No, nah, I mean, it's not like we're not proud of it. It just it it just weren't quite up to standard. Like when we first started band. Well, when I first started band with previous lads, it were all about trying to get as much done as quick as you can mm. and not looking at, like, doing it to the best possible standard. Yeah. Like, I think we recorded something like four tracks in a day. Yeah. And it was like, like now, we take two days to do one track. Yeah. So it's, it's always good to take, take some old songs down, isn't it, and just uh, tidy up a bit. Yeah, like I say, for us, it was just the production side yeah. of things yeah. weren't quite there. I think, like... When we first started band, it were all about getting songs ready just so you could get some gigs and stuff like that. And I think like we're now at that level where we actually we need to be putting as best stuff out and that's all we can be putting out. So for us it would take a case of just taking that down, reworking it and then putting it back on. How do you know it's your best stuff? I don't know, we just get you get a vibe, don't we? We sort of just get a vibe. There's a lot of stuff that you can sort of write and then I don't really like that and you just leave it. But when you when you know it's it's good, like you can tell as well, you know, when you play it live and you're getting that reaction from crowd. Mm. So yeah, we just 
get in there, aren't we? Yes, we bloody are. Nice. So, so the new single. So, if if people are watching this and they haven't, uh, is it pre, is it on pre save yet? On pre save, yes. Yeah. So you can yeah. find it on all our socials at, at Matilda Shakes. Well, I'll I'll put a, it within the description of this uh, interview. I'll put a link to it too, so people can get involved with it there too. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, you better. You better. Pre You what's that? You better bloody do. Better bloody do, yeah. I'll be pressing it, and I encourage everybody else to. So, what's so special about this one? How how did you know? This one were a good one. Just a vibe it's, again or something different? It's, just, it's like a proper dirty blues riff. Well, the, what, the Frankie or the Neon Ears? Yeah. <laughs> Frankie? We're not even... No one no near that one. <laughs> Is that a future one? We've got, we've got logs of logs of stuff collected. So there's a lot. Of course you have. Yes. Well, what, what about this one? This one is a very nice song. <laughs> 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 so we'll leave it at that. Yeah, you, you don't want to listen to it. Whatever. <laughs> you could have asked for any other member, Carl, and you asked for this one. I, I didn't, actually. I just said a talkative one. <laughs> he said daft lad. No, oh, yeah, I said daft lad, yeah. Like. Da- daft lad. I'm not, it's, it's strange. You know, right. I know you I'm are. telling you. Near <laughs> it is. Can we say that? Yeah. Near it is, is a good song. It is. Yes. It's got a very dirty riff. Yeah. So it's, it's exciting dirty. times. Uh, exciting times. I'm really looking forward to the tour. I'm looking forward to the tour. <laughs> You no nothing more to achieve. You've yeah. you've accomplished everything this year already. So it's kind of like it must be a nice space to be in. Um yeah. and for all those new Matilda Shakes fans that are out there in the world, would you like to leave them a message today? And uh yeah, don't like, eat yellow do. snow. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Art, That'll do. <laughs> Well, Jason, so the other on. Shakes fans, we love you to death. You're the reason that we keep deboing. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Well, Joel, James, thanks for joining us today. Uh, really appreciate your time. Looking forward to the year ahead. <laughs> and we'll, I'll see you soon in real life and put a pint in front of you. Nice one. Check you soon. <laughs>